Uh-huh. Hey folks, Ronnie Newhauser here at Cow Tippers. Um, I wanted to address Jimmy Dore's assertion that voting for the lesser of two evils has basically taken the country to the far right. Now, <laughs> there's some problems with that assessment because I, I, I think he's putting the cart before the horse. Um, it's true that the country has gone way to the right. So the Democrats right now are actually right-wingers and the right-wingers are off the chart. Attila the Hun right-wing. So I think that's true. But I don't think he's seeing how it got there, really. It, there's work that goes on behind all this. There's, there's an error in thinking that, um, that you're being active by just voting every four years. That somehow, you know, these candidates just pop up and, uh, oh, I get to choose from one of these guys. I'll research for five minutes and then I'm done. I'm, you know, I'm a good patriot or whatever. You know, so this is completely false. The reason we've gone to the right is because powerful entities, bankers and corporations have put massive influence, have actually created the way elections are run, that the Republicans and the Democrats are beholden to them, that if they don't go by their policies, that they won't have a, no one will have a chance to win. Now, what happens is grassroots activism tries to fight against that. So they do things, they take part in actions, whether it be uh, protesting and legislation and all types of, anything you can think of, rallies, talks, academic talks, right? To uh, inform the population, to get them to understand how this all happened. That's what he's missing, that's huge. He's, he's not realizing that it takes work to change this, not just telling people to vote. You can tell people all you want. The reality is when you wake up on election day and you look at, you know, the polls, you're going to know that only Biden or Trump are going to have a chance to win. This is a reality you have to deal with. And since we haven't done the work, not enough, there's been a lot of great work done. I mean, the fact that Bernie has done so well, uh, shows that a lot of great work from progressives has happened, that the Occupy movement had an effect on the country, and so on and so forth, and, and all, you know, all types of actions. But to think that it just, you know, it pops up in thin air, oh, I'll just, uh, you know, I'll research for a couple minutes and I'll, and I'll put out my vote. That's not why we're here. And you have to deal with the reality. You have to deal with the reality that on that day, only two people can win. There's only... Two. Right now, I, mean, I hope this changes. We've come close, right? Bernie, you know, had a chance at being a nominee. And yes, they cut him at the knees and they, there were all kinds of nefarious actions and so on and so forth. But we have to deal with the reality. You have to, in ethically, I think, vote for the lesser of two evils on that day if you realize that only these two candidates have a chance. I don't that's not leading to right, uh, the country going right wing. It's already there. It's there already. We have to reverse that. And reversing it is, you know, and I like Jimmy Dore. And, and, and there's a bunch of people out there that I think are, are wonderful that are trying to do things. But we've got to do more and hope that at some point, um, a really good candidate that cares about people is actually viable. That candidate doesn't exist. Now, I think Jimmy Dore also equates that, you know, they're exactly the same. False. No regime ever is exactly the same. That's literally impossible. There are certain things that will be worse under another regime. And in my estimation, Trump is worse. More people will suffer. The left has more of a chance to... Uh, influence Biden and no chance to influence influence uh, Trump and the Republicans. You've got to take that into consideration or people are going to suffer. You know, maybe you won't feel it as bad. You can get through it. You can flippantly just throw a vote out there and, and you know, you won't be, uh, you know, cast into poverty. Although that may be coming for everybody the way things are going. But um, so I want just wanted to make the point. I think he's just 
not assessing this correctly. The work has to be done to make the change. That's what we should be doing. We should, And that includes me. We should all be out there and trying to make that change, trying to make a third party truly viable and changing the hearts and minds of people to understand that we're a community and we have to work together. And that's what a market is for. A market is not there to... We, we shouldn't serve the market. The market should serve us. It should be making life easier. It should be the reduction of work hours. It should be making things free because we can do that technologically now. There's a lot of things that can be changed. So, yeah, I just think Jimmy is coming from... Well, it's just not... It doesn't seem like he really understands it. I mean, that's my impression. He doesn't understand why it's happening. The vote is... Except for saving some lives, you know... That's really all the vote is for right now. It's not for progressive change. The vote isn't for that. And if you go on election day and vote for a, you know, a third party, it's you're not really changing anything, you know. And now I don't think that's necessary. If you're not in a swing state, I think you should vote third party. If you're not in a swing state, if you are, it's dangerous to do that. So, you know, that's my two cents. I, I hope that Jimmy and others who feel like this will kind of look at it a little deeper and realize, you know, that they're being a bit vacuous on why we've turned very right wing in this country. All right. See you later.